Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. And welcome back to another Chicago Lane Changers episode. You guys, we are taking the Camaro uh, SS1 Ali and we're taking it on the back roads today. It is such a beautiful morning. It is around six in the morning, actually. Like, I'm not making that shit up. Technically, it's seven. It's seven in the morning. But dude, I am so excited because, man, look at that thing. It's so sexy. Uh, man, before we go, I know you guys like your cinematic footage. Do you guys want some before we head on the, put on the GoPro and, you know, take these back rolls like a freaking beast? <laughs> man, it's just such a beautiful morning. Uh, first of all, uh, it is a beautiful morning. And on top of that, I just want to say, um, today is 9-11. So, so just want to say, uh, rest in peace to all the first responders and all the victims of 9-11. You guys, in my eyes, are all heroes. And, man, uh, I'm sorry. You guys are all heroes. And... Just shout out to all the first responders because I know that's a tough job. But uh, you guys, let's uh, throw in some cinematic footage. Let's get today started. actually take this exit up here and that's where the curvy roads are all gonna happen and uh, oh my god I'm so excited we have a straightaway oh my god <laughs> those cracks and burbles are just the main thing I love about this car I love how this car could just well honestly when you when I when I drive the when I drive this thing through the corner corners it honestly feels like an all-wheel drive car that might sound stupid but the fact is that this car is so scary but it feels so safe so we're gonna take up here I don't think right, so here is where we gotta be careful stop sign up here all right, all right so let's rip these corners you guys ready Still set the turn signal. Wow, look at outside, man. It is beautiful. The way it just hugs those corners so well. Look at that. Oh my God. The way it just hugs. Look at this. I'm taking these turns at almost 65 miles per hour. goodness this is just crazy <laughs> this is crazy and we got the beautiful sun in front of us oh my god it just loves this road <laughs> oh my god let's see if we turn up here we can find possibly even better road so let's turn no cars all right beautiful Third gear pull. <laughs> Man, this car just loves this. It loves the road. It loves everything about it. Those corners, man, that was a whole different story. Oh my God. If I don't talk much, just know it's because I'm taking it in. <laughs> I'm sorry if I don't talk a lot. Maybe you guys don't want me to talk, but I'm sorry if I am talking a lot though, because I really just want to feel for this car and honestly, it just makes me smile so much, man, and I love it. I, I, I absolutely love this car. Wow. This thing just wants to... Picks up. It just wants to go. Man. Holy shit. That was, uh, that was actually pretty fun. We got to do that back again. Thank you. Pull straight away over here. Oh my 
my god dude what the fuck <laughs> oh my god dude it loves this road so much oh my god you and like i said you can have an ss you can have the one ss you can have whatever the fuck you want it doesn't compare to this car right here. It just loves roads like this. It just loves opening up its wheels and it just loves everything about it. Oh, we have a nice little, uh, oh, I like where this is going. <laughs> that sounds sexual. <laughs> Could be wrong. All right, there's no cars coming. All right. Holy shit! Oh my god, dude! It loves these roads. Like I'm telling you, when I when I say that, I mean it. It just loves them. It loves it loves how it just has control over everything on this road right now. With the price of this car, you can't beat it. You just can't. I mean, you get the, you get the 6.2, you get the 6.2 LT1, you get the beautiful Tremec. I honestly feel like there's no car that can really top this thing, you know, when it comes to American muscle. Because this is on a whole different level. You can have a Challenger, have a Charger, have a normal Camaro SS, have a fucking Mustang 5.0. It's not gonna feel like this. Uh, I feel like the only car that can really compete with this is definitely the GT350. But everything past that, no. This is this is on its own level, dude. So we're gonna turn up here. These are where the curvy roads are. So we put it in track. So um, we should be good. I mean, this should be um, this should be the ultimate track experience right now. Let's turn up here. Okay. Wow. So, we are on the curvy roads. All right. Oh my God, look at the sun. Oh, those pops. All right, you guys ready? All right, let's go. Wow, wow. Look at that turn, dude. That's at 60 miles per hour. Oh my God. 60 mile per hour turn right here. Oh my God. Dude, it just glides on these corners. Rip it, rip it, rip it. Oh my God, that's Holy shit. It loves this road. Oh, it's so sunny, I can't see. <laughs> it is so sunny. Oh my God, it loves that road, man. Holy shit. I'm telling you, dude, there's nothing that can compete with this car as of right now honestly like for the ultimate you want that ultimate track feel nothing will top this ever like and i'm, and I'm, not, I'm not saying that to be oh because you own one bro stop talking you own one it's okay no they literally dude <laughs> dude it just wants to go and i love how you can bang and bang up on this car and the fact that it is it's good, just gonna tell you, give me more. I wanna drive more. You think that's it, and I love that. I love how this car never is satisfied, and I, that's, cause that's how, that's like its owner. Me, I don't like being satisfied. This car hates being satisfied, and it's fucking amazing. So a lot of people ask you like, dude, why'd you get, <laughs> those pops, dude. <laughs> I know I keep bringing it up, but a, a lot of people ask me, hey bro, why'd you buy the one LE? Like, you had, you spent 50 grand, you could have gotten some something way better you could have got a german car and just you know tune down pipes and call it a day you'll have a faster car well yeah but if at the end of the day it's not going to take the track like this thing i mean this thing is so track focused um yeah it's not as track focused as the zl11 le but it's very track focused and that's what i always wanted in a car i wanted a car to make me feel like i'm I was driving something special, if that makes any sense. And this car just gives me that. It makes me feel like I'm driving something, you know, very special. And this, and this car literally gives me a feeling no other car has given me. So if you guys want that in a car, this is yours, man. Like, 
you, if you respect that American muscle, you, res you respect Chevy, you respect everything that they're doing on the track, then this is your car, dude. Like, there is nothing else in this world that'll make you happier if you do not have this car. And you're a Chevy fanatic, buy this fucking car right now. Uh, I'll fucking give you 20 grand just to buy the car. <laughs> I just want to give this guy some space so he can really rip through. All right. I think we give him the space. All right. Oh my God, a little slippage right there. Wow, okay. This thing, I'm telling you, just sticking. It's just sticking. It doesn't want to go anywhere else. Oh my God, the guy in front of us, man. Come on, man. Let me rip this beast. <laughs> okay. All right. Every car that I've driven, and I've driven cars up the ass, nothing compares to this. So basically, to kind of answer everybody's question, is this car worth the 50 Gs? Honestly, yes. My opinion, it's worth the 50 Gs. Because one, you do get a track-focused car. So I mean, you can bash on this thing. It has so many coolers that, you know, and I'm not just saying this for the 1LE. It does have uh, coolers on the normal SS, but I'm just talking about for the 1LE in general. Uh, it has so many coolers. You get back to you can take this on the track on a long track day let it cool down and yo be fine to fucking drive it home you know with the ac running so uh i mean everything about this car man it's just uh it's just a fun experience you know and you really want something new in your life you want something that you yeah, those pops <laughs> i know i bring it up like 20 fucking times in this video but you want something new you want something that you can really really drive I wouldn't recommend any other car but this. Honestly, if you if you love if you love that V8, honestly, in my opinion, growing up on the Chevy, growing up on Cadillac, growing up in General Motors in general, <laughs> General Motors in general. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but uh, no, seriously, growing up on those cars, this is was the car for me. I mean, this is the car that I fantasize about sexually. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> no, seriously, this is the car that I've always wanted. I've always wanted a track focused car. My dream car is a ZR1, so hopefully someday I can buy one. But, uh, you know, honestly, from what I'm, you know, really feeling with this, is just a whole different car, you know, from anything I've ever driven, and I've driven many cars. Um, this was the perfect car for me, you know, and frankly, I grew up on the V8. And honestly, you could go and get yourself a fucking German, you know, 328i, a fucking, you get yourself an M3. It's not, I mean, you get anything for the 50 grand budget, whatever it is. It's not gonna handle a track like this. It's not gonna handle a track like this car. Like seriously, uh, the, the times that this car puts up is fucking ridiculous. It's stupid ridiculous. And the fact is that, you know, you can hate, oh man, it's a Chevy. Oh man, it's a V8. Yeah, you could just go and get yourself a twin turbo car, throw a tune on it, some down pipes, charge pipes, and you're making like 450 wheel. You could, man, but honestly, Ain't nothing like a all-American V8, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, seriously, no, there's really nothing like this V8. And you know, the fact is, Chevy is out the muscle, out the muscle game. They're not. A, you can't call this a muscle car. In my opinion, you can't call this a muscle car. You can call this a track car. You can call this a sports car. You can't call this a muscle car. This thing is nowhere no, near a muscle car. Because muscle cars, to me, are quarter-mile cars. This is nothing near a quarter mile car this is a track car this will take corners at like as you guys seen 70 miles per hour i mean this thing will fucking literally stay to the ground and take those corners like it's nothing and honestly that's fucking crazy to me so um yeah my clue and conclusion it's all up to you you really grew up on the american cars i would 100 recommend this you're into track cars get this this is all you this is this is your car right here but if you are wanting you know something quick something to modify easily and make as much power i honestly recommend something else this isn't the car for you um so yeah man that is uh that looks like it's, that's all for today's video i uh, hope you guys did enjoy if you did smash that like button smash the subscribe button if you're on the channel hit that little bell notification so you'll be notified via part of dlc nation you already know and stay tuned for the podcast because that is coming pretty fucking soon so let's do one more poll for you guys before I say goodbye, let's get it down to second gear. Alright, you know what? Fuck it, we'll go with the first. Alright. Alright, and. Tire slippage. Wow, okay. 
beautiful sex. <laughs> oh man, I just fucking wow. Yeah, like I said, takes these corners like it's nothing, man. It just literally just glides right through, and I love that, man. So uh, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next vlog.